at the New South Wales Queensland border. An exciting start to the gateway to a sunny land. Stanthorpe. 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 Hi guys, welcome back to Hatch Life. Today we are going to show you the beautiful little town of Stanthorpe. Stanthorpe is roughly three hours from Brisbane, depending on where you live. It is a beautiful drive down from Brizzy through the countryside. You pass a whole bunch of amazing little towns like Warwick. It's just got some cool little cafes and restaurants, definitely stuff to check out there too. Our main attraction today is Stanthorpe and there is heaps to do. So first on our list of places to stop in Stanthorpe is definitely the Big Apple. We are at stop one on our journey to Stanthorpe. Just as you're driving in, you'll pass the Big Apple. Stanthorpe is known as the apple capital of Queensland. Apparently, they grow lots of apples around here. This area is a really uh, popular place for backpackers to come over to Queensland and work as fruit pickers and all that kind of stuff. So if you're living overseas and want to do some fruit picking, you might end up at Stanthorpe. It's a great place. Right near the Big Apple, there is a place called Vincenzo's Cafe where you can try their famous apple pie. When you're driving through to Stanthorpe, you will most likely go past the Big Apple and there are two awesome spots for apple pies. You've got Vincenzo's and Sutton's, one on either side of the road. Highly recommend you stop in and get yourself a delicious apple pie. So inside the Vincenzo's Cafe near the Big Apple, there is a gift shop and also a deli, which has local food like honey and nuts and chocolates and cheese, and also little crafty things made by local artisans. Another thing we have been highly recommended in Stanthorpe is the winery. They have some really cool wine tours. We're actually gonna do one while we're up here. And so we're really looking forward to that. So booking a tour just takes away all the planning. You know they'll take us to three or four wineries. You can have as much as you want without having to worry about how you're gonna get home as well, which was a bonus for us. What did you think of the wine? Mm. This one's so good. It is nice. Mm. So there's a day exploring all the vineyards of Stanthorpe. It was so good. Definitely must come and visit the wineries if you're in the region. So good. Got to do it. So another must visit place in Stanthorpe is the Christmas farm. They have amazing Christmas trees, fields of them, very popular in July, for Christmas in July and obviously December. They also have a cafe and a really cute Christmas store where you can get everything you need to decorate your house and tree.
Penny, it's my favorite animal. It's the goat. Hi, goatee. <laughs> At this Christmas tree farm, you can even cut down your own tree to take home. So one of the last stops on the winery tour was Ridge Mill Estates and it is so cool here because you can also feed the goats. They have a bucket with free feed and the goats are super friendly. So that was a... Lots of fun. Yeah, added little treat. There's some hungry goats. Crazy animals, those goats. You watch. After a big day of adventuring, you can also drive into the main street of Stanthorpe, which is really picturesque itself. It has beautiful historical buildings, and I just thought it was really cute. There's heaps of nice little looking cafes, little boutique stores, little shops. It's like a really nice little street, so if you're in Stanthorpe, would highly recommend you just go park a car, have a trot through Stanthorpe yeah. and go see what you can find. If you're keen to get outdoors while you're in Stanthorpe, get outside, get some sun, adventure, there's amazing national parks and there's a bunch of massive granite boulders all around the place so definitely well worth a visit and awesome for those insta pics. So we're at Donnelly's Castle Caves. Very, very cool. There's all sorts of things hidden around the corner. So here we are at Girraween National Park known for its big granite rock boulders and some of them are basically the size of a house. If you're not big on like steep uphill bushwalks, you know this place is super quick and easy to get to. Heaps of different areas to check out and get photos. If you are more enthusiastic about big long walks and you want to go up the mountain, there's heaps more tracks as well. You just follow the signs. Easy peasy, Japanesey. How are you enjoying the walk, Kenny? I love it. It's so um, relaxing. You're burning off all that wine we drank yesterday. Oh, <laughs> have to walk all day. To do that. Wouldn't change it though. Well worth it. Do with a nice cool bottle of wine right now. Nah, oh. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> no, I couldn't think of anything worse. Nah, not today. <laughs> So we've finished our walk here at Girraween National Park. Hannah's got the craving for chocolate and luckily we've been recommended an awesome chocolate place. It's called Heavenly Chocolate and apparently they do amazing hot chocolates like coconut hot chocolate, beetroot hot chocolate and um, they just have really high quality chocolate. So I'm keen to pick up some things to take home before we go back tonight. Let's go check it out. I am so excited. Let's go. <laughs> If you're visiting Stanthorpe and you're into your history, you've got to check out the museum. Stanthorpe Museum has won multiple awards because it's a really different kind of museum. Basically, they have some historical buildings there. One of them, for example, is an old schoolhouse um, from 1894. And when you walk in, it has the old school desks, the ink wells, the slates that they used to use. So I'm really excited. Like being a primary school teacher, I'm excited to see what it used to be like in the olden days. <laughs> Do you reckon there's like engravings? Rosemary was here, 1918. What have we got here? The government worker room. This is our room. Let's go in this way. Start again. This is an old fire truck. Look at it. That is, that is very cool. Go to the shepherd's hut. TV, this is my crib. Come see my bedroom. This is 
single bird. <laughs> Foot off the ground, keep those rats away. Sweet hessian bag pillow full of rice. I feel like that's the chair that rocks at night with no one in it. That's it. <laughs> So there it is, that's Stanthorpe, that's our adventures, but there is so much more to do than what we've just covered in this video. It's an awesome place to visit. Yeah, I know most Queenslanders are used to going to the beach for holidays, but definitely make the trip inland because it's such a different experience and one that we've really enjoyed. Please let us know what you thought of it and if this video helped you. Yeah, till next time, hatch life out. Bye. Bye. <laughs> It's not even funny. <laughs>